Hey everyone, my name is Lynn Schrader and I empower men and women to step outside of their comfort zone and begin living a life that they could have never imagined. I love to ignite a passion and a fire in people who are ready for a change. Uh, so today I want to talk to you about a change and that is stepping out of your zone of comfort or stepping out of the box. You've heard that saying before. So here's where this uh, video is coming from. So I don't know if you're like me, but my front porch was uh, a, 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 a place for boxes this Christmas. I had the UPS guy and any delivery man that was even out there delivering things uh, to my front door, and I'm sure you did too this Christmas season. And I don't know about you, and uh, but the older my kids get, you know, they're, they're really almost adults, the boxes seem to be getting bigger and big, bigger. Always try to stay within that frame of spending, but these boxes were huge. So what I found myself doing a few days back was taking those boxes and breaking them down for the uh, trash hauler. In fact, I have one of the boxes here. And uh, as I'm breaking it down, I thought to myself, isn't that something that you and I should do more often? And that is to break the box that we've erected around ourselves, that, that cocoon of safety, our safe zone, and, 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 and get a, do away with it. Start to step outside of that comfort zone. And what that really means is a willingness to do or say or act in a different new way. And I thought, how perfect is that timing? It's a new year and so many of us want to um, discover a new side of us. So really stepping outside of your comfort zone, getting out of your box is really just acting and doing and thinking in a different way. Now let me assure you that it doesn't need to be a giant way. Uh, like you don't have to decide one day that you're going to step out of your comfort zone and quit your job or you're going to climb Mount Everest or you're going to uh, move across the country or you're going to end a long relationship or you're going to um, uh, run or, or, or do an Ironman. Those are big decisions. No, uh, big decisions don't have to be a, a telltale sign of you stepping out of your comfort zone. Sometimes it's little, little things. In fact, I tell my coaching clients and uh, the team that I have in my business, I tell them all the time, this is a baby step thing. If we try to do too much, we're setting ourselves up for failure. However, if we do little things at a time, we can do the big thing uh, eventually. There's a saying, you know, you don't want to eat the elephant one but in one bite. Instead, you want to eat it one bite at a time. And that's what stepping out of your comfort zone, uh, stepping outside of your box is. It's, it's really deciding that every day is an adventure. Um, if you find yourself, every day is an adventure and I can do one little thing different. If you find yourself saying things like, or even thinking things like, that's not how I do it, or we don't do things like that. Uh, that is a telltale sign that you might be so comfortable in the way you think or act that you're not willing to think differently. And, and what it, in, in essence, thinking outside the box, stepping outside of your comfort zone is also just a willingness to be vulnerable and to push past our limits and to go for things. Um, it, it's a willingness to act in the face of fear or the unknown. And it can be as simple as instead of using Tide detergent, because your mom and your grandma used Tide detergent, maybe you use something different. Um, or instead of uh, always going to the beach, for a vacation because that's just what your, you do, your family does, maybe it's thinking about going on a ski vacation 
or a hiking vacation. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't have to be huge. Here's the deal. If you do have these huge plans, then do one little thing at a time. If you want to do that Ironman, then get yourself in the gym and start practicing. If you want to change jobs, then perhaps it's spending uh, 20, 30 minutes every night on the internet searching your opportunities. If it is moving across the country, maybe it's taking the time each night to check out the opportunities that are coming across the country. That's my dog playing over there. So anyway, it's really, really, really a willingness to step out and try things in a different way, to be vulnerable and to go for things. Now, I've got tips on how to do it. They're very, very um, simple tips and I wanna run them by you. Listen, if you agree on anything that I'm saying, please make, make a comment in the comment section below. And also tell me, are you watching live or are you watching on replay? And where are you watching from? So tip number one, tip number one to step outside of the zone of comfort or to leave your box. I say this in my videos all the time, you need to have a tribe of friends who are not just going to tell you what you want to hear, but they're going to really, really, really pick out your blind spots and tell you things that you need to hear. So tip number one is to declare what you want to step out of your zone of comfort, whatever that is, declare it to a friend. Tell them, this is in 2019, first quarter. January, whatever it would be, I'm going to do this and tell a friend. There's nothing like an accountability partner or partners out there. They hold your feet to the fire. They remind me, remind you of why you said you were going to do something in the first place because life will get in the way. So tell it to a friend, declare it to someone. This is what I've decided to do. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to think differently. I'm going to act differently and I'm going to be willing to be vulnerable. Step number two, tip number two is to write, write down, identify what your comfort zones are. I do this because it makes me feel comfortable. I do this, I think this way, I do this, I do this. Write it down. That's the teacher in me. You've watched my videos, you know that I'm all about writing down. So write it down and then I want you to, on the other side of the paper, write the getting out of your comfort zone response. And how bad, what you're gonna see is just how bad can it be? How scary can it be? Will the world end if you do something or act in a different way or think differently? Will the world end? So in essence, put a um, sort of a, a two-sided column paper, what you think now and what you're willing to think in the future or act in the future. Number three, number three, here's the third tip on stepping outside of your zone of comfort. Do one scary thing a day. It doesn't even have to be scary, one different thing a day. I promise you, when you step out of your zone of comfort, of your cocoon of safety, that's where the good things happen. That's where you will grow the most. One of the best compliments that I ever got was um, when I started to do the, the my current uh, I've got two businesses. One of my uh, businesses, when I did that, started that seven years ago, it was something that was definitely out of my comfort zone. I thought I'd be a teacher for the rest of my life, and for whatever reason, uh, too long of a story, I could not go back into the teaching field. And I was a little lost, like, what am I gonna do? It's all I know. That's, uh, I don't do this, I do this. Um, and when I was given an opportunity and I said, Okay, what's the worst that can happen? And I started to do it. I started to realize, wait a second, I can do these things. I can be vulnerable. I can um, take a deep breath and try new things. I started to grow. And I got the best compliments from people that said, you're different. You're, 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 you're confident and, and confidence looks good on you, etc." So do one, just one, scary thing a day and then those little scary things will add up and then the fourth thing and this kind of ties it all together but 
The fourth thing is to connect the dots. And what I mean by that is begin writing out your passions, your dreams, what you're good at. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am passionate about coaching people on mindset, uh, their purpose in life. Uh, we are not made to take breaths of air every day and then just pass away when we're, a when we're aged. We are here to do good things and to bring value to those around us, to pay it forward, to, to bring value to our world. So start connecting the dots. What are you good at? What do you wake up excited about? What, what, what makes you catch your breath because you are in, your, 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 you're in it, you, you do well at this? What makes you feel those ways? and connect the dots. You will not experience those things unless you step out of your zone of comfort, unless you get out of the box. Start breaking down and tearing down the box. So you have a choice. You can stay in the box, in your zone of comfort, and just dabble, just dabble with life, a little bit here, a little there, or you can take the leap. Do one scary thing a day and take the leap and step outside of your comfort zone. So I wanna leave you with this quote from Rad, Ray Bradbury, and it says this, first you jump off the cliff, and then you build your wings on the way down. We often want our wings before we even step outside or off the cliff. But guys, I'm telling you, your wings will appear and you will be amazed at what you can do when you leave your zone of comfort. So I wanna hear from you. I know there are thousands of people out there, millions of people out there that have stepped outside of their zone of comfort and, and just, changed, just changed. They became the butterfly uh, that they were always meant to be. So I want to hear from you. What have you done? What are you in the middle of doing? Tell me your story. Write it in the comments below. Just give me a couple sentences to let the world know what you've been up to. And again, thank you so much for taking the time and watching these videos. I appreciate, I appreciate it. And now listen guys, here's something you can step outside your comfort zone. I have a private Facebook group for uh, women who are wanting to become more confident. And you're, they're wanting to surround themselves with women who are already confident or are on their way. I want you to consider joining that group. There's no strings attached. It's just a group where we edify each other and I throw challenges out there in different ways for you to think. Uh, join that group if you want. I'm gonna put the, the link in the comments below and you are welcome to click on it and join. Sorry guys, it's women only. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I appreciate it and uh, I'll be back in a few days.